power series. Let's call this power series G1. Let's say G1, G1 of X, okay? So what we want to do is we want to, gener we want to differentiate that. So let's differentiate. So differentiate, differentiate G1 of X, okay? So what does that give us? That gives us G1 prime of X, the derivative of G1 of X is simply equal to, well, this is a sum of power functions. So the derivative of a summation is the same as the sum of the derivatives of the terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate each one of these separately and see what we end up with. So the derivative of a constant one is just zero. The derivative of x is just one. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of x cubed is 3x. The derivative of 3x squared. The derivative of the next term, which is x to the 4, would be 4x cubed and so on and so forth. So what we actually have now is this. So by differentiating this base function, hopefully what we can actually see is we've ended up with the generating power series that we would require for the natural numbers. It's the exact same power series. Well, hang on, this is actually handy for us because we know, we know that G1 of the X is equal to one over one minus X. We know that this particular generating function is the generating function for this particular power series here, okay? For, for G1 of X. So if we differentiate this, so G1 of X, another way to write this is, this is one minus X to the power of minus one, and we can use the chain rule. So the derivative of this is simply going to be, so G1 prime of X is going to be minus one, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be minus one times this, and then we reduce the power by my, so let's, let's do this. So we take the power and we multiply it by this particular term. So it's going to be minus one times one minus X. We reduce the power by one, so to the minus two, and then we differentiate what's inside the brackets. So the derivative of a constant is zero. The derivative of minus X is minus is minus one. So what we actually end up with is, let me just let me just go on to a new page here. Okay. So what we end up with is something really nice. We now have ended up with something that looks like this. So now we have uh, g1, g1 prime, the derivative of our first generating uh, power series is simply equal to well, minus times minus, minus one times minus one gives us plus one. So we end up with it's one minus x to the minus two. In other words, therefore we have that g1 prime of x is equal to one over one minus x squared, okay? So that's brilliant, because now what we have is this, is that, is that this, particular, this particular generating power series, one plus two x plus three x squared plus four x cubed plus dot dot dot, okay? That its generating function is actually equal to one over one minus x to be squared. Isn't that really, that's really nice. That's a really nice result. But the most important thing is this, is that this generating power series okay, encodes the sequence one, followed by two, followed by three, followed by four, and so on and so forth. It encodes the natural numbers, okay? So it encodes the natural numbers. Okay? There we go. So that's, that's a really good result for us. So now we have the generating function. So we have the generating function of a sequence. Let's just re recap what we have. We have the generating function of one, 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 and so on. It's generating function, let's call it G1 of X, is simply equal to one over one minus X. And now we've developed the generating function for this, the, the natural numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on, that it's generating function. Let's say G subscript N, uh, is equal to one over one minus x squared, okay? So we can see that in these videos that we're developing more complex uh, sequences uh, and we're encoding them and we're calculating their particular generating functions. So let's take the next step. What about the even numbers? So let's think about the even, the even number sequence. Mm -hmm. So the even number sequence, well, let's just write that down. It's two, four, six, eight, dot, dot, dot. There, there are even numbers. Hmm. Now let's think about this here. How do we calculate even numbers? Well, even numbers are simply of the form two times N, 
where n is an element of the natural numbers. In other words, if we multiply any natural number by two, we end up with an even number. Okay? So actually, we have the sequence of we have the sequence of natural numbers here. So you can actually see that the even numbers are simply two times the sequence of natural numbers. Hopefully you can see that. Okay? That gives us the even numbers. Two times one gives us two. Two times two gives us four. Two times three gives us six. Two times four gives us eight. So we know the generating power series of this. Okay? Well, the generating power series, let's just fill in our brackets. So the generating power series is, well, it's 1 plus 2x plus 3x squared plus 4x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. And when we multiply this, and I should actually also say, I should also say that this generating power series, its generating function is 1 over 1 minus x squared. Okay. So we know. We know that this is the generating series and the generating function for this particular for this particular sequence of natural numbers. So we know that two times this sequence of natural numbers will give us the even numbers. So that means that two times the the two times this particular generating series will give us the generating series for the even numbers, and two times this generating function will give us the generating function for the even numbers also. So this is actually the same as well, two times one is two plus 2 times 2 is 4x, plus 2 times 3x is 6x squared, plus 2 times 4x cubed is 8x cubed, plus dot, 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 okay? which is actually equal to 2 times this function here, which is equal to 2 over 1 minus x squared. Okay? So look what we now have. We have here a power series that encodes the even numbers. Okay, you can see that each term in the 